Hello, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to my car and yet another drive through edition of Emmy Eats. Today, I'll be tasting some fries. I just went through the drive through and got myself a medium fry. And the reason being is that I'm going to be tasting this. And this little packet is a packet of Mentai Mayo Fries Seasonings. And this was sent to me all the way from Japan by Mr. P over at Critical Eats Japan. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I am so excited to taste this because it involves some shaking and fries. And I've never had this seasoning packet stuff before. Apparently you can get it in some other McDonald's in Asia and I think Canada. But I haven't seen them here in the U.S. It doesn't mean that there hasn't been some here. I just never have had them. But thanks again so much, Mr. P, for sending this to me. And I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this. So if you order this in Japan, you get a medium fry along with a bag and this shaky powder. So what you do is open up our bag. And this is, we love to share our passion. I'm loving it. Everything's in English, even though this is from Japan. So take my fries and dump them in there. Mentai is a fish roe and it is used in pasta dishes and it has a really salty, briny, delicious flavor. Ooh, it's got a yellow color, orange color, which isn't surprising because mentai has a really bright red orange color. It smells good. Tangy, mayo-y actually. Yeah. All right, take that. Add that to our bag. There it is. Now we're gonna fold up our bag and give it a shake. <laughs> so I decided to do this in the car because I figured by the time I got the fries home, they'd be cold and everybody knows McDonald's fries are terrible when they're cold. Any fries for that matter, but especially McDonald's fries. All right. I think that's some good shaking. Yeah. Great. So you guys can see. Upon first perusal, I see that the powder actually coats the fry very, very well. It has a little kind of greenish flecks in it. And now that I look at it, I think that might be seaweed, not chives or any kind of herb. And I see little crystals that are either salt or sugar. And this kind of yellow, no, orange powder <laughs> that coats it very well. It looks like kind of like steak seasoning or something on a fry. All right, let's give that a go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Ooh, I like those. Mm-hmm. Generally, oops. <laughs> generally, generally, I like my fries plain. I really just enjoy the potato flavor and salt and a little bit of ketchup. But these are really nice. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest difference in terms of flavor of this fry to seasoned fries that we'd find here in the US is the sweetness. There's a little bit of sweetness and a touch of umami. And umami is that addictive, sweet and salty flavor that you find in almost all processed chips and snacks. Doritos, all of them contain MSG, which is monosodium glutamate. It's the glutamate that gives you that addictive, sweet, salty, can't quite put your finger on it why this tastes so stinking good flavor. It's naturally occurring in things like seaweed and mushrooms, and it is used a lot in Japanese cuisine, hence the word umami. <laughs> They're sweet and salty and taste a bit of mayo. They're not at all fishy. They're scrumptious. Mm -hmm. If you've ever had Japanese rice crackers or senbei, the seasoning is very similar to senbei seasoning with a bit more mayo flavor to it. I know it sounds disgusting, but it actually is quite tasty. To go back to the comparison of regular seasoned fries that we'd find here in the US, I think a key flavor to that seasoning is celery salt. I always taste a little tinge of celery salt and of course lots of salt. This has no trace of that at all. And because they're so well coated, it doesn't need any ketchup whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That might be a matter of preference though. When I have seasoned fries of any kind, I don't usually put them in ketchup because I find it just overpowering or just too much in terms of just flavor and I no longer taste the potato. So if you like ketchup, you still might like ketchup on these. Hmm. 
That is great. Mm. That bite tasted more like nori. That tasted like seasoned seaweed in that taste. Mm, really good. I'm gonna have this one. This one looks really seasoned up. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Now, in that bite, I definitely tasted the mentai. That tastes nice and oceany. It didn't taste fishy or stinky. It just tastes of the ocean and more like seaweed. Yeah, that bite, I definitely tasted it. Nice. Mm -hmm. So there you have it, Japanese Shake Shake on fries. Now that I think about it, I could see why it would do well in Japan because there's something called firekake, which is added to rice, and at home my boys call it Shake Shake, and they love it. And it's kind of a similar idea. It's a combination of sesame seeds, salt, sugar, nori, which is that seaweed all kind of crushed up. You can get it in a ton of different flavors. It's kind of like confetti, and you shake it onto rice, and it's a beautiful way to season your rice, and my sons love it. And this is a very similar idea. It's adding a little bit of seasoning onto your potatoes instead of rice. So yeah, it seems like it would be a no-brainer in Japan. But I, I don't know why we wouldn't have it here. We have seasoned fries here, so why wouldn't we offer something like that here? It would just be an extra few cents. I don't know. Maybe they have, and maybe I've just completely missed it. Do let me know if you've ever had seasoned McDonald's french fries before, and if I'm just totally missing out. And if so, what flavors were they? Like ranch, of course, and barbecue? I don't know. At any rate, thanks again, Mr. P, for sending this to me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if you want to see more drive through taste test. And I shall see my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.